Hey guys, JH. Welcome to the practice tee. It's a bit of a blustery, cold practice tee today. Well, cold for Australia. I mean, it's about about 14 to 15 degrees Celsius, and that's cold for us. But not cold enough for JH to get out of shorts yet. Okay, what do I want to talk about today? I want to just go on a little bit about that minimal movement golf swing and maybe just uh, explain a few finer points and maybe give you some images that you can work with. If you're going to use this, this basic lead axis to just turn around, imagine one of those revolving doors that you see in big apartment buildings where they've got the segmented glass um, revolving doors and they've just got the, the pieces that come out on a segment from the from the center rotating uh, axis or the axle of the rotation. So if you can think that the center of the of the revolving door is this lead axis and from here back is just a portion of those glass segments that you walk into and you go around. Just think of that and, and how that, that basically turns um, in place and doesn't move. Now that's a good image. So that, that, will, that will cultivate, I think, for you the feeling of this staying here and this whole segment here which is basically the gate off the gate post but we're just substituting the gate post for that center uh, axle of the revolving door and this is not moving and this is just basically going like this here and the more we can get that that segment of that that revolving door to just stay absolutely as a segment and just revolve um, or rotate with the axis or the axle of the door that's a good image I think and not only that the more that you can take that that segment of the revolving door or the or the gate on the gate post away from the gate post and just let it swing as a gate post would swing with no lateral movement, just a pure um, fixed turning point action. That, I think, is the best appreciation of what we should be doing. So what I'm trying to do, guys, is I'm basically staying here and I'm just turning this part away from this part. There, that's what I feel. And on the downswing, all I want to do is just turn this part around this part on the downswing. Pretty simplistic. Now this will be a good test of the audio today guys because it's very windy and uh, we'll just see what the uh, what the microphone comes up with today. Okay so, so this is what I, I'm feeling guys. I'm just feeling I've got my connection here. This is my pivot point. This is my forward pivot point. That famous Hogan dream that he said he had where he saw a Scottish, old Scottish player just revolving around his left leg. Well, I take it further than left leg. I just, I just think the complete left vertical axis or the lead vertical axis. Left if you're a right-hander. Um, oh, sorry, left if you're a right-hander. Right if you're a left-hander. But let's just say it's the lead vertical axis and we get the trail vertical axis to just swing around that. I mean, that's a simple explanation. Just get it to swing around. i just see if I can get this microphone in a better place, guys. Oh, my goodness. That's better. That's outside. Okay. Yeah, so... The lead axis we're just going to keep it here we're going to take the trail axis away from it and around it as if we were that revolving door and, and as if we were doing this if we kept going that's all i want to feel okay 
very cold this morning, haven't had a swing, but I guess I think this will be a good test of this, because I think this swing is so simplistic that when you start out during the day, that uh, this type of swing will be something that will work pretty easy. You don't have to do a lot with it, if you just think about that, just rotating around that, that lead axis. Okay, so here we are. First swing of the day. We're going to be the revolving door at the Savoy Hotel in London. Or the Ritz. They still have those revolving doors in those hotels? Okay, so here we go. Oh, guys, first hit of the day. Oh, that's just beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. Oh. Now, I guess, probably, that indicates that this is a very... But guys, I'm no, I'm no super coordinated physical being. I mean, I'm not a great ball striker. I'm not anything of that nature. So if it works for me to be able to come out dead cold and hit a shot like that, that shows to me that the, 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 the swing is very effective and very efficient. So we're just going to be the revolving door. Now that's right beside the other golf ball, probably they're two yards away from it. Now the good thing about that, guys, is that that's a very, very tight and not loose type golf swing. But it works because there's not a lot of moving parts that you have to coordinate in a cold golf swing. Well, there's the same amount of moving parts in every golf swing. It's just that they're minimised in the, in the range of motion. I mean, I hate, hate it when people say, oh, this guy's got less moving parts than anybody else. Well, tell me the moving parts that he doesn't move in his golf swing that everybody else moves. And I even took this up with the natural golf guys and Mo Norman when I first met Mo. I said, because he said, I've got fewer moving parts than anybody else. And I said, Mo, can you show me the parts that you don't move that everybody else uh, moves? And he had a, had a swing. He just shook his head and had a swing. And he said, see, I don't move very much at all. I said, sure, you don't move, your range of motion's not very much, but you still have the same amount of moving parts. They just don't move as much as everybody else. So we have to be careful on occasions, guys, when we use terminology, uh, because we've all got the same amount of moving parts. They just move less or more. But, but the point I was making there, before I digressed, was that even with a very cold golf swing that's not oily or warmed up, uh, because this is simplistic, it, it works good. Well, there's three shots in a row, guys, dead cold. And they're just perfect. Now, that one, because I've warmed up a little bit after three shots, that's gone about another, you know, probably eight, eight, eight metres longer. That really was, whew, that was motoring. So here we are, we're just taking this, this revolving door. It was interesting, I had a, a guy from the US, um, I was talking to him last night and he'd seen my videos uh, for the first time and he said, my, my tempo of late and apparently he's seen, you know, Rocco Mediate hit a lot of golf balls. And he said, your tempo is the same as Rocco's. It's almost identical tempo to Rocco's. So it's nice to have something in common, if that's true, with a great player. Someone that's... Mm. Has... Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've seen Rocco hit it and I've... Um, but I never paid a lot of attention to his tempo, but he did do the same thing all the time. And here we go, guys. We're just going to turn this, this, um, just turn around on this 
front revolving door. Now there's no point in trying to rush this. You don't have to. All you want to do is just make sure that you have a complete opening of the gate off the of the gate post. Don't have to rush it. There's no no point. All right, now I'll try and do a better job of getting that that uh, that trail trail axis around this lead axis and then I'll get the trail axis back around the lead axis I'm trying to get it around it this way and then I'm trying to get it around it that way on the downswing I've got to and again, when you're a little bit cold, what happens is that you know the body just doesn't fire as hard as it should. So this back side, this back axis is a little bit dead at the moment, but I'm going to fire it around that lead axis this time. I'm actually going to try and get it to go around the lead axis. So we're going to turn the revolving door this way. It's going to go that way, and then we're just going to really whip the revolving door back around the center axis. Wow. See, that's good follow through for an old guy. See, that's really fired that right leg, hip, thigh, everything. Right hip girdle, part of the hip girdle. I mean, that was long. That was really downtown, that one. Now, that's a very conscious effort, guys. You know, they talk about having to start with your left side or your lead side in the downswing. Well, I'm obviously doing that as a result of the torque making the swing reverse itself. But my, my mental emphasis, my conscious emphasis, is to just fire the right side as early as I can around that lead side. So that's like almost like a throwing action around it. But I'm not throwing the club. Okay, now do really do a good job here, JH. That is a good job, JH. That is a good job. I just wish you could see all those balls. They're just all in the same place. Now, guys, I've never been a great ball striker. You can never put me in the great ball striker category. I could never, ever confess to being a great ball striker. But what I've been able to do is that I've always been able to sort of get the club on plane and through the ball. It may not be in the centre of the club all the time. Maybe, you know, bottom groove, second, third groove. But I always manage to sort of hit it towards the target. And I think that's the, the, the secret of a good golf swing. You know, I mean, I'm not a flusher. Never been a flusher. I have my days, but, you know, not, not, a, not a super ball striker. Never been a super ball striker. Can hit it okay. You know, but, but not like, you know, like a real, um, you know, like a tool like a top two player type ball striker uh, but but because I minimize the the difference in path I mean I can I can score well because I don't miss many fairways and even if I if I don't hit it well it seems to go on the green with my approach shot and Trevino said that he said his misses always went on the green Mo Norman said that Mo was very honest he said I don't hit it in the middle all the time he said I'll bottom groove it second third groove it he said but they still go straight and that's the secret, guys. If you can have a basic swing that does the same all the time and, it, and it's effective and efficient, you can play some golf. I mean, I mean I've mean, played, you know, games where, you know, for money where I beat guys and I've hit it all over the club face and, and very scratchy ball striking, but I never hit it offline. And I think that's the secret. So, so don't be paranoid about, you know, being an absolute flusher. It'd be nice if you can. I've never been. <laughs> I just like to, I just like to hit it like that. That's about, that's about 90%. And it's just perfect. The ball flight's just great. Absolutely as good as I want to hit it. Well, I'll try and do a really good job of getting that, 
that trail axis now around that lead axis. I really fire that right side for me being right handed. See where I am here guys, look. If that was a green that was, you know, 10 or 12 yards wide, every one of those golf balls on the green. And this is a uh, four iron, and they're all on the green. Every one. And probably in a you know, 15, well, not in a, probably 10 yard circle. Okay, I know what the, I'm in a good position here and I'm in front of the camera, so, uh, you know, I, I've got everything going for me. But guys, even when I hit these shots here, what I've said to you before, I never just willy-nilly hit the shot. I'll try and hit, you know, a shot to the right of the last ball, a little bit to the left of the last ball, that type of thing. I just don't hit a shot for the sake of hitting it. And, and, and I'm lucky that way because I, I don't waste my practice uh, sessions through aimless hitting of the golf ball. Okay, so if we can really put a, a really good revolving door, um, gate post gate swing on this. That's the best one of the day. That's just flown those other balls. Just killed them. Now, guys, this is all, guys, this is all, all part of the short controlled acceleration swing. Now, what I want to do in this video as well is just give you a few pointers on the short controlled acceleration swing. Now, what you have to do, even though it's a short controlled acceleration swing, that, that invariably on occasions will, will conjure up sort of a an image or a feel or a connotation of a really quick, sharp golf swing. Now, they, they, we don't want that. We don't want that at all. What we've got to do is have that short controlled acceleration swing operating in a very, very nice controlled um, a tempo fashion. So you've got to give yourself time to reverse in the, in the short, because it's only a short golf swing. So you don't want to rush it because the components need time to make their way back on, on, the, on the downswing. So we've got to be leisurely if we possibly can. Even though the swing, you may feel that being short, it has to be fast to generate speed. But I can promise you it's a complete opposite. If you, if you, if you actually slow it down a little bit and feel like it's leisurely and almost slow, you actually get more power out of that short swing. So have a look at this. Now you don't want to be any faster than that. I could probably be slower than that. There's no probably, I, I absolutely can be slower than that. No question about that. The guys were going to mow the grass here for me today, guys. It's still just full on uh, rough. It's terrible. But I like getting over here with the cows. They're great critics because they don't uh, they don't judge my shots. Okay, this is going to be very very leisurely, even though it's short, controlled acceleration swing. Yeah, you don't, you see, you don't want to, you don't want to think it's sort of sharp and, and uh, snappy. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one two, not the one two. Guys, you've got to think about it. I mean, what I do is I actually count the the type of tempo I want in my mind. I go one two, and it's an amazing mechanism. If you in your brain. If you could actually audibly say one, two, you know you can't swing faster than that? You can't swing faster if you say one, two. I used to teach guys tennis and I'd say, you know, back, through. And you can't swing any faster than that. But if you say back through, you can. But you can't swing fast if you talk slowly. Now if you think slowly, you can't swing fast. And I promise you, that's the way the brain coordinates the body so this is going to be a I'll actually talk about I'll talk talk myself through this <clears throat> one two 
Now see my two was actually after the hit. <laughs> that's gone miles, that's gone gone three iron, two iron distance. So guys, that's just a very interesting little um, information um, uh, log right there. You really can't swing faster than you can actually tell yourself to swing. Now this had a very deep rut, but we'll go very slow. One, two. Man, I love that. Woo! Do I love that? Okay, so what else was I going to expand on? Okay, so let's just recap. If we're going to do the, the revolving door of the gate swing, we've always got to try and get this axis around that axis on the back swing. Try and feel that. You'll feel like you're going this way, but you won't. And on the downswing, because you've gone this way and you build up the torque, this will get out of the way. But a good swing thought coming down is to just think, I want to put this around that. Okay, we'll just do one more. Just one more. Now a big, big, big rear, a big um, trail axis around the front axis on the back on the backswing. You can just, I mean, it's just a great, a great way to think about it. I don't get much movement on the ball anyway. I never have. It's basically always straight. My draws are just imperceptible and my fades are the same. But that ball doesn't move at all. I mean, it really does not move at all. I just hit a couple this way. That just gives you an idea of what it looks like front on. <clears throat> so where are we? Um, I'll give you a look at it down range. It's a bit hard here guys, this rough is six inches deep. It's so deep I can't even get the ball to sit up. It just wants to uh, fall down. It's just so... Um, and I want to get to the side so you can see some ball flight. You know, it's terrible here. I've got my foot in a hole, everything. Okay guys, I'll, I'll do some... Uh, I'll do another video today. And, and I'll just show you a few more angles. And I'll show you some short game, uh, or short shots uh, in terms of the revolving door. Okay guys, have a look at that and I'll, I'll uh, do another video with some, some different angles.